Hey Bob, it's Dino here from Sherwood Park Chevrolet. This is the beautiful 2014 Traverse that you inquired about. It's got the really nice white diamond paint, beautiful chrome accents, as you can see. It's a very nice looking car. I'll show you some of the features here that we have inside. This will start from left to right. As you can see, it's got the power group there, so you got your window lock, you got your window rollers, your mirror adjustment, that's power, power door locks, take you on inside. So right there you got your automatic headlights, you got your dome light control as well. On the steering wheel you got your cruise control buttons to turn it on, set it and resume. And you got this beautiful gauge cluster, it looks really nice at night too. And then here you got your Bluetooth controls as well as your volume controls for your radio. Now with those buttons you can uh, pick up a call and hang up as well. And then here on the little remote you can see it's got lock, unlock and this top button here is for the remote starter. Now it's got this beautiful color screen, the CD player, you got the auxiliary port on the top right there whole bunch of other features here so I can show you you go to home menu you'll have like your satellite radio AM FM there's a lot of other cool things too so once you have your phone your Bluetooth connected you can see you can do text messaging through voice which is a really nice feature keep your eyes on the road right now these buttons here they're gonna control the uh, gauge cluster up there so you can see you can change a whole bunch of stuff your personal preferences it will tell you stuff about your car as well and then a couple more here, odometer, your trip meter, fuel range, all that stuff. And then up here, this little compartment, you can see you got a USB port, charge your phone and whatnot. You got the OnStar buttons there. Up here is your universal garage remote. And then just your buttons for your lights there. Move back down here. So you got your air conditioning there and your fan speed as well as the temperature controls and you also got the selection of what you'd like to do. And down there behind the shifter you got your heated seat so you can do it just for the back or you can do it for the for your bum and your back. You got your rear wiper button, traction control, you got a 12 volt there, really nice wood trim. Then here this whole thing slides back. You can see this compartment here. You can pull that out, and it's a really deep compartment. It's got another 12 volt there. This pops right back in. You can close it up. Pop this open. As you, you can see it's not very big. Reason being is on the back of it, you got your temperature controls for the rear. So I guess I'll take you on to the rear now. So I'll show you the rear seats. As you can see, this one has the bench seating. Sorry, it's a little blurry. There we go. And with these seats, as you can see, right there, that, you pull that, and you can actually slide the seats forward and backwards just by the pull of that, and you can see they roll along on that rail there. And then, you pull this handle here, and they, oh, just probably unclip the seatbelts first. There we go. So you pull this handle here on the side, you can see it just moves out of your way and then you got your third row right there. Pretty neat. You got cup holders there in the door, more down there. A really cool feature, so I already showed you the, uh, the controls for the rear temperature. Then in the back you got another 12 volt and then you actually have two more USB ports. So if you have like iPads for the kids or you just want to charge your phone, you can do it that way as well. I'll take you on to the back. As you can see, it looks really sharp. I'll show you the trunk space. You can see right there, it's got the backup camera. Just press right there. It's got tons of trunk space. And if you want to fold down the third row, you can do that as well. It'll just give you that much more space. 
do one more quick walk around. There you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, Bob. I hope I can earn your business, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.